hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, Mermelayer Part 2. Continuing where we left off, we just got done talking to Squidward, who gave us a new objective. Top of the computer area. This way leads us back to the Mermelayer lobby. Next, we're gonna go down these steps and get this shiny object. Down here we have a throw fruit and a teeter-totter, so we need Patrick over here. Go ahead and open up this teleport box. Now let's continue ahead. On this platform we need to use the bubble bowl move to spin the platform. Now don't get off the platform yet. If you look over to the left you can see there's a purple shiny object in that cave, so we need to spin the platform one more time. Now we can collect the purple shiny object. Okay, let's spin the platform back. Now we can continue ahead. Here we have a rotating platform. Take note of the sock on top of the light post in the center. Now you want to be careful to avoid these electrical devices so you don't get shocked. Here we have three ways to go. You can go this way toward the bus stop in Mermaid Van. Or you can go straight ahead, but if you want to go straight ahead, you need to activate this switch. To activate this switch, you need to use the bubble bowl move. It can be a bit tricky because the platform is moving. This activates the bridge so we can get across. We can also go this way, up these steps with these tiki's. So I'm gonna go to the bus stop first. Here I'm going to switch to Patrick. I'm going to go this way and talk to Mermaid Man. I've got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. Here we have a new objective, the funnel machines. So like Mermaid Man said, we need to take this throw fruit and throw it into each of the machines. We're going to start with this way with the colored floor. Remember, don't step on the red square so you will take damage and drop the throw fruit. So just follow this pattern to get across. When you're close enough, throw it at the machine. This will activate the switch. Alright, that's one down. Next, we're gonna go this way with the platforms. You just want to be careful because these platforms do tilt, so try to stay in the center. Remember to be quick before the throw fruit explodes. And activate the switch. Okay, that's two down, one to go. Now here you want to avoid this cannon firing cannonballs at you. Very easy. Okay, that's the funnel machines taken care of, so now let's go back to Mermaid Man. You did it! Now I can get some sleep. So go ahead and collect the golden spatula. Now we'll let Mermaid Man get some sleep. This completes the objective, the funnel machines. I wonder what he's watching. Oh, no wonder he wants to go to sleep. It's static. Now over here we have a clam. So let's take care of this. You need to feed it 2,300 shiny objects. 
this reveals a teeter-totter to use. So we need to get a throw fruit. So we're gonna go this way next. Acoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. But he's not wearing any pants. Oh, wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side, and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Here we have a new objective, the Spinning Towers of Power. This is just a little puzzle. All we need to do is turn all eight cylinders around. Now over here is a reset switch in case you want to start over. Now the easiest way to solve this is to grab the throw fruit and hit the switch in front of you to turn those three around, then throw it at the one behind you. Make sure it's directly behind you to turn those three around. Next, you want to throw the throw fruit to the ones left and right of the first one we hit. Okay, that takes care of the left. Now the one on the right. Now turn around and do exactly the same thing with the ones on the left and right of the one directly behind you. Okay, next, make sure you throw it at the switches on just your left and right. And that will get all eight cylinders turned around to the power side and complete the objective. So that's the easiest way to solve this puzzle. Now go ahead and collect the golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This completes the objective, the spinning towers of power. Now while we're here, make sure to activate this switch. We'll need to activate it later. So just take care of it while you're up here. Next we're gonna go down this slide. Okay, now we need to get back up there so we can finish breaking those Thunder Tiki's and get those shiny objects. Okay, now I'm back to full health. Now I'm gonna go back to the bus stop and switch to SpongeBob. Again, make sure you take note of that sock on top of this light post in the center. Next, I'm gonna go up this way with these steps and these tiki's leading up to this robot. Here you need to use SpongeBob because we need to use the bubble bowl move on these paddle wheels in order to lower this platform to go up. Now up here we have a Chuck robot, so let's take care of him quickly. Again, be careful on these rotating platforms with these electrical devices, so you don't get shocked. Here we need to activate this switch using the bubble bowl move. 
This activates the left wall jump, which is over there by that bus stop in the center. So we need to activate both the wall jumps. So let's continue ahead. Here we have an ARF robot. Using those robot dogs to protect himself. It's a very narrow platform. Okay, that takes care of him. Same thing here, use the bubble bowl move to activate this paddle wheel, and now we can go up. Here we have another Chuck robot, so again, let's take care of him quickly. And here we have another switch to activate using the bubble bowl move. This activates the right wall jump. So the wall jump is now activated down there. And here we have a slide. So we're gonna go down the slide and break all these tiki's. Okay, now line yourself up and aim for the sock in the center. Make sure to collect that sock. Now to go back and break the rest of the tiki's and get that purple shiny object. Okay, so now we are ready to continue ahead. Now the bridge is going backwards, so it will push you back. And at the end, we have a Chuck robot here to make it even harder. So be very careful not to get thrown off the bridge. Take care of the Chuck and quickly take care of the Duplicatotron 1000 or he'll keep making more. Here we have a bus stop in case you're Patrick and need to switch, but we're already Spongebob, so now we can use the wall jump. Take care of this robot up here. And blow up this Thunder Tiki. And now the wall jump is activated, so now we can continue going up. Top here is a golden spatula. Go ahead and collect it. This completes the objective top of the computer area. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the normal air. The first one is here. Press the button! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! Now we need to press four buttons. This gives us a new objective, shut down the security system. We've already activated one of the buttons up there with Barnacle Boy. This is the second one. Use the Bubble Bowl move to activate it. You need to activate all four switches in order to hit that master shutdown button. Go ahead and open up that teleport box, and behind here are some shiny objects and some underwear in case you need to heal.
Now here, you need to activate the Master Shutdown button in order to lower the bridge. So we can't go this way yet. And we'll be going that way shortly, but before I do that, there's one more thing to take care of. This teleport box leads us back to the start. Remember this throw fruit and teeter-totter? We need Patrick over here. So I'm gonna show you how to get Patrick to that spot. So the first thing you need to do is turn this paddle wheel in order to move this platform. You want to make sure it's facing the start towards Squidward. Next, we need to go get Patrick. Okay, next, grab this throw fruit and use it on the teeter-totter to go up to where Barnacle Boy is. Now up here, you just need to jump behind the machine here to land on the route that we went as Spongebob. And use this slide. Now when you start getting close to the end, you need to jump off and make sure to land over here on the platform with the paddle wheel that's facing towards Squidward. And that's how you get Patrick over here. Next, use the throw fruit on the teeter-totter. And this will launch Patrick back to the center. So as you can see, you don't have to worry about it. It's completely pointless. I just wanted to show you where it goes. Switch back to SpongeBob. Okay, so now we can continue ahead. This way leads us to the Mermalayer security tunnel. of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. So, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. And this gives us a new objective. Top of the security tunnel. Now I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And this will be the end of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, Mermelayer Part 2.